questions? Questions for Lon? Yes, Le Lex. <laughs> 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 just the fact that in order to be Kim's dad, you have to talk to random strangers on a bus. It kind of bothers me a lot. So in another word, in order to be Kim's dad, you need to have a proper communication with everybody else. Uh, somehow I disagree, though, because I think a guy who is shy and uh, <coughs> not very outgoing can also, can also be empathetic. And the reason why is it's because instead of communication, observation can also be a good fact for you to be empathetic. You don't have to talk to people in order to know what you're thinking. We can see it, and we can think hard to understand what's going on in the other people's mind. I just don't think that should be narrow. So first, I didn't say that in order to <laughs> empathize. We should talk to people, but we should pay close attention to what they do. Like you say, observe. Yeah. So then, you were saying if we just sit on the same table, same chair, have the same group of people, we cannot really be empathetic. No, no, no. Yeah, That's I mean, another part, though. Okay, but like, but this is also what we say. So, I'm sitting on the same table, same spot, you know, the same people, but I'm, so I'm not communicating with everybody else, but I'm observing, I'm looking at Antenna, and I'm trying hard to know what he's thinking. <laughs> I think it's also possible. But how can you know what he's thinking unless yeah. he actually tells you? He is happy. Are you happy? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so. Jo Joanne had a question. Uh, well, I think going off of Lex's thing, I think if you uh, know certain events around that person, you don't have to necessarily talk to them. Like, for example, if, if I know this thing happened and this thing happened, and then I look at them and then they're acting in this way, then you'll have this like range of things that they could be thinking about. And, uh, but besides that, I was wondering, uh, why would... Uh, Psychopathy be uh, dangerous. Because they know about the people that have a psychology know about your thoughts, but they don't have emotional connection to you. They will not empathize with you. They know about your thoughts, but that may have another purpose of like making you feel better. So, what's the difference between? Psychopathy and sympathy. Like sympathy, people know about your feeling and your thought, but they still want to make you feel better. They want to do something that delights you. So psychopathy is just like they don't care. Yeah, they don't okay. care. They know about your thought, but they don't care. Uh, you say don't trust the people. You say still you like uh, your boyfriend or love girlfriend or other person like say I love you or other stuff. So how can we know it like they love us or not? So I already say pay close attention to what they do. If they love you, they will do something that makes you happy instead of not caring for you and doing some bad thing for you. Like my parents love me but they never say it, but I know it. Because they try their best to make me have good condition to be in America. Ooh. And they try their best to make me to become a good person. So that's the good thing that they send to me. And based on that, I know that they really love me, even though they never say it. <laughs>